Welcome to KJAG, I'm Harley, and today it is October 26th, and it is a day D. Miss Morales needs more boys in her choir class, like these guys. Beautiful girls all over the world. I can be chasing, but my time will be wasting. I got nothing on you, baby. Nothing on you, baby. I'm just trying to see what's up. You want to want to stick your face more than my mind. So you need to fight. Just know I got this trust. You just see me as a father. Just come with us and join choir. 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 Anime Club with Miss Gorky starts on Thursday, the 29th, in room 47, right after school at 3:40. She can't wait to see you guys there. Hey students, if you had Miss Gorky for art last year, please stop by before or after school to pick up your art, like portfolios and Picasso art. Want to join a cool club on campus? Go to room 40 or 41 with Miss Hepler or Miss Horton to get a packet to fill out for All Stars. If you can't find them, they'll be by the bus stop. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. Today, I just wanted to take some time to talk to you about mental math. Everybody still awake? It's come to my attention that many of you just want to know what the answer is without actually trying to mentally solve the problem yourselves. The answer is not really important if you're not actually solving it yourself. All you have to do is focus and think for 20 seconds or less. It's perfectly splendid. It's not like your brain is going to catch on fire. <gasps> All I'm really asking for is some effort on your part. Do you think you can do that for me? You had me at hello. Well, great. Because it is Monday, and you know what that means. It is time for Learn to Math Monday. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey Jax, happy Monday. Today is a D block day. And on D block days, we are gonna be calling those JAG days. And on JAG days, we spend some time talking about who we are and who we wanna be. And you'll see that that happens after your fourth hour. You'll do some mini lessons where your teachers will be asking you to discuss and reflect and just continue to grow on your journey to who you wanna be. Also on those days, you'll see that our teachers are wearing some, some unique things. They're gonna be sharing some of the options that you have post-secondary. And you're gonna hear that word a lot this year. Post-secondary means what you wanna do after high school. You guys have a ton of options and we wanna make sure you know what they are. Some of those options are going to university or college, joining the military, community college, getting a job. Uh, you just have tons of options. And so you're gonna see your teachers are wearing shirts that represent all your options on these days. And also on these days, I'm gonna challenge your teachers to share their stories of how they got to their career. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna to share my path a little bit. After I graduated high school, I was graduated from Horizon High. I'm a born and raised in Arizona. I went up to NAU, Northern Arizona University, which is in Flagstaff, Arizona, about two hours north of here. I loved my time up there um, in the trees, in the forest, and it was out of the heat, and I loved it up there. I had awesome teachers, and I loved the campus. It's beautiful. In the middle of my uh, four years at NAU, I ended up studying abroad and moving to Ireland for a little bit and going to the University of Limerick, where I took awesome classes like sports with sticks, and I learned how to horseback ride, and I took some awesome geography and government classes there too. And when I was done at, in Ireland at the University of Limerick, I came back and I finished my degree at NAU, and I graduated with a bachelor's in science and elementary education. 
when I finished, I wasn't quite ready to go to work yet. I loved my job. I was working at a tile company where I drove a forklift, which was really fun. Kept me in really good shape, throwing around heavy rolls of carpet and laying tile and things like that. And I stayed there for a couple of years and I earned some money because I was broke when I came back from Ireland. After I worked at the tile shop for a couple of years, I also substitute taught and worked at Coconino High School um, in Flagstaff, Arizona. And that's where I realized that I wanted to be a teacher and specifically I wanted to be a math teacher. So I moved to Chandler, started working as a math teacher at Bogle Junior High, uh, was one of the best experiences of my life, had some awesome mentors and learned a lot. And a couple of years after working at Bogle Junior High, I realized that I really wanted to develop my leadership skills. And so I decided I wanted to go back to college. I applied to Arizona State University's master's program and I was accepted and ended up finishing my master's degree in educational leadership at ASU. So go Lumberjacks, but also forks up, go devs. So I wanted to share my story with you. I love teaching and I love my path and it's unique to me and every teacher and every, honestly, every person out in our community has their own pathway that they've chosen. I encourage you to ask your, your families what their pathway has been and to start thinking about what you want to do post-secondary. Have an awesome day, Jax, and we'll talk soon. Thank you for watching. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.